We greet you. Today we will tell you about Evan Thomas Spiegel, the businessman, whom Forbes calls the youngest billionaire in the world. Spiegel is the co-founder of the Snapchat Messenger, a loving father and a spoiled child as a child. However, before we start, we urge you to subscribe to our channel, put a bold like and, if possible, repost this video on social networks. And, of course, press the bell to be the first to know about the release of new videos. Next, we will tell you how the youngest billionaire in the world, Evan Spiegel, lives. Evan was born in Los Angeles on June 4, 1990. His parents, John and Melissa, worked as lawyers and had a huge fortune. His mom, Melissa, is known as the youngest graduate of Harvard Law School. She works as a partner at the law firm Pillsbury, Madison and Sutro. After becoming pregnant, she gave up her career for the sake of raising children. Father John, a partner at the law firm Munger, Tolles and Olson, earned more than $3 million a year in revenue. The family lives in the Pacific Palisades area in western Los Angeles. It rivals Beverly Hills in elite status, but is closer to the famous beaches. The house was bought for $2 million, another $1 million was spent on renovations in 2000. The family has five luxury cars, including three Lexus and a restored 1966 Mustang. The family paid $75,000 a year to educate Evan and his two younger sisters Lauren and Caroline at the Crossroads School of Arts and Sciences. In their daily life there are tennis and yacht clubs, a personal chef, regular travel from Europe to the Bahamas, snowboarding from a helicopter in Canada. In addition to school, children study with tutors for $250 per hour in various circles. So, in the summer of 2005, 15-year-old Evan is enrolled in two courses at once, at the Otis College of Art and Design. The graphic design makes a huge impression on him. To help the children understand how good they are, their father took them with him every Christmas to distribute free food to those in need, and as part of the Beverly Hills Church program they are parishioners, the family travels to Mexico to build houses for the poor. At the age of 15, Evan entered several colleges, where he studied graphic design and art. Most people who know Spiegel speak of him as a very balanced, pleasant and ambitious young man. However, he is greatly spoiled by the money issue, the older he got, the more he spent. When the father showed dissatisfaction, the son defended his right to luxury, and very reasonably. The end of the 2000s is becoming a difficult time for the family. After 20 years of marriage, father and mother announced their separation in April 2007. The divorce litigation between two professional lawyers dragged on for several years. The father bought for $3.3 million a house four blocks from the family housing, and also gave his son permission to set it up, but under the supervision of designer Greg Grande, who also worked on the TV series Friends. A huge bed, covered with white leather, appeared in the room of Spiegel the Sun, Venetian plaster, freely moving bookshelves, powerful computer, two designer work chairs and bespoke wardrobes. There is a cinema in the basement of the house with an eight-foot screen that can be programmed from the bedroom. As my mother sadly noted in the materials for the lawsuit, she does not have a cinema, so Spiegel stopped rushing between his parents and began to live permanently in his father's house. But not for long. When his son asked for a $75,000 BMW 535i to replace the two-year-old Cadillac Escalade, which had been bought new for $56,000, his father's patience came to an end. In vain was Spiegel Jr. arguing that he needed a smaller car and not so gluttonous, since he had to travel a lot in the city. Even the promise to save money by refusing to buy art and travel did not help. At that time, the father gave his son $250 a week for personal expenses and once received a whole estimate proving that he needed at least $1,992 a month. The biggest expenses in it are gasoline $512, food $400 on weekdays and the same on weekends, clothing $350 and entertainment $200, marked, these expenses cover any vacation not paid by another family member. After another heated debate about money, Evan cuts out his images from family photos and begins to live with his mother, who in a couple of days did not buy, but rented him the coveted BMW, after which he regularly began to receive speeding tickets. Spiegel was not a good boy. Despite the turbulent events in his personal and family life, he is an excellent student. In high school, he was engaged in journalism and even wrote an article about an unconventional method of teaching mathematics. One of the tasks of the journalism course is to sell advertisements for the school newspaper. 
Spiegel bypassed competitors and persuaded businessmen to fork out. He not only exceeded the sales target, but also taught his peers how to competently raise money from adults. Next, Evan applied to Stanford University, where his father previously studied economics. In 2008, Spiegel was vacationing in Prague when the good news came, that he was enrolled. A significant role was played by the charitable contribution of parents to the university fund. During his studies at the Department of Industrial Design, the guy did an internship at Red Bull, worked as an intern at an enterprise that was engaged in biomedicine, taught management to students of the Republic of South Africa. In addition, Spiegel was a member of the Kappa Sigma Student Society. Due to several failing credits, Evan was unable to complete his studies. The university allowed him to come to the graduation ceremony, the student had to pass the overwhelmed disciplines later, but he never did it. While studying at the university, Spiegel became interested in computer technology. After practicing with the founder of Intuit, Scott Cook, he decided to develop something of his own. This is how a mobile app called Peekaboo was born, a remote picture messenger developed with fellow Stanford colleagues Reggie Brown and Bobby Murphy. The project started in June 2011, and in August they decided to say goodbye to Brown, after which he sued his former comrades. The app was renamed Snapchat, and in 2014 Brown received monetary compensation. The project developed rapidly. Soon, users of the app were able to share 15-second videos and post a slideshow with the events of the day, which disappeared at the beginning of the next, exactly at midnight. In 2013, Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg wanted to redeem the application, he was ready to give the developers $1 billion. But Snapchat's founders backed out even after the amount increased to $3 billion. In 2015, the revenue of Evans Corporation, Snap Inc. amounted to approximately $60 million. Forbes magazine has placed entrepreneur Evan Spiegel in the list of the richest people in the world. In 2017, his fortune was estimated at $2.1 billion. He owns several houses and cars, and during the detours of the offices of the corporation, Spiegel is accompanied by personal security. According to the businessman himself, in life he has drawn a lucky ticket. I am a young, white, educated man. I am very, very lucky. Life is not fair. Now about my personal life. Evan has always been popular with the opposite sex, he dated popular and talented girls. In December 2013, at a New Year's party, Spiegel met Taylor Swift, but their romance did not last long. He also dated model and actress Kate Upton, but this relationship soon ended. In the summer of 2015, the billionaire struck up an affair with Orlando Bloom's ex-wife, Australian model Miranda Kerr, after meeting at Bernard Arnault's Louis Vuitton event in New York. Soon the happy lovers announced their engagement. A secret ceremony took place in Brentwood, no more than 50 people were invited to it, only relatives and closest friends. The family now owns a huge $12 million home that was previously owned by American actor and producer Harrison Ford. In May 2018, Miranda and Evan had a son, Hart. Spiegel is interested in the music industry. He even wanted to buy the Big Machine record company, but the deal never materialized. From time to time, Evan attends major stellar events, including the Vanity Fair New Establishment Summit, where the billionaire met director George Lucas and vice owner Shane Smith. In 2015, Vogue Italy magazine featured a photo of Spiegel on the cover. Evan knows how to fly a helicopter and loves floristry. Forbes magazine named Evan Spiegel the world's youngest self-made billionaire. Although he got a wealthy childhood, he became a billionaire thanks to his own efforts. Founder of Snap Inc. and Snapchat apps have been called a genius creator who knows what today's youth needs. Evan's creativity, luck and talent have helped earn billions of dollars by creating a unique service that is used by the whole world. Here are some interesting facts from the life of Evan Spiegel. At least 100 million people use Snapchat every day. At the very beginning, the headquarters of the company was located in the house of Evan's father. Subsequently, the office moved but Spiegel continued to live in his father's house in order to save on rent. In 2014, Evan moved into a $3.3 million mansion. When Spiegel turned down Zuckerberg and didn't sell his company, Facebook created the Poke app, a Snapchat analog. But this idea turned out to be a failure, the public did not appreciate the new service. Evan has a favorite James Purse t-shirt, which costs $60. As Spiegel himself says, his t-shirt is the main item of clothing since high school. 
Spiegel does not have an Instagram account, but the hashtag hash Evan Spiegel can be used to find his photos. His wife is on Instagram. Friends, if you liked our video, but you have not subscribed to us yet, then subscribe right now and like it. There will be a lot of interesting things in the next issues. See you soon, Intel.